ProLin PLN. Hello, my name is Kyle Bentley. I'm an application engineer with ProLin PLN. In this snack bite video, we're going to be looking at how to clean up our facet geometry inside of NX. So let's go ahead and look at a quick example here. So with our facet geometry already imported in, we have a scanned part that's been imported as a facet. So the first thing we need to do in order to perform modeling operations on this facet is convert it into a convergent body. So with our facet already converted into a convergent body, we can go ahead now and perform our modeling operations to create our new part from our scanned facet. So I'm going to go ahead and modify the facet to create my new part. However, you'll notice that the quality of my facet is not that great in this case. So we need to go ahead and clean it up and modify it. The first thing I want to do is try to create my part here. So before we clean it up, I can try to do my offset and thicken that surface to create my new bracket or my new part. But you'll notice as I create that offset that it's not going to let me create that offset because the quality of our facet is not that great here. So we need to go ahead and clean it up. So inside of NX12, they have introduced new tools such as Clean Up Facet Body to help us improve the quality of our facet geometry. So I'm going to go ahead and run the Clean Up Facet Body here, and you'll notice that there are three different checks. There's none here that you can do, and then there's two ones that you're going to use. The All to Analyze, and then the All to Repair. The first one I want to show you is the All to Analyze. So as I run that, you'll notice, for example, there's 23 edges with folded facets that need to be smooth. And then there's one intersection facet, so there might be double facets on top of one another there. So I'll go ahead and press OK on that and then turn on facet edges. And notice that the analyze has given the areas that need to be cleaned up. So previous workflows to NX12 it's up to the engineer to clean it up himself for later downstream applications. So just with the Analyze tool helps us to clean up different areas, such as this corner here. I can use the Snip tool to snip out the facet that's intersecting. And then I can smooth out the area that the facets are folding that need to be smoothed there. So I can run the Smooth tool and then select the facets that need to be smoothed out. Okay, as I do that, you'll notice that it will smooth them out. However, I specified a smoothing, uh, smoothing factor value in there, so that can um, have a difference on how the facet looks. So I'll go ahead here and rerun the cleanup facet body, rerun the analyze, You'll notice the intersection facet is gone. However, this time we have 22 edges with folded facets. So I got rid of one of them with the smoothing factor value. So I'm going to go ahead and specify a different value to get rid of those in that corner. So I'll go ahead and rerun the smooth tool and specify a different value for my smoothing factor. And then select the facet edges that need to be smooth. All right, and then I'll go ahead and rerun the cleanup facet body. As I rerun that and show those results, notice those are gone in the corner now. So it depends on your smoothing factor value in order to get rid of those folded facets. However, I still have some degenerated facets and edges that aren't that great as well. So you can see those areas that need to be improved. However, new with NX12 as well, you can repair all of these with just one click. Instead of going in manually and changing those, you can do that with just an all to repair command. So I'm going to go ahead and run that and then show the results. 
So notice it cleaned up my facet. However, the quality is a little better, but we still need to smooth out some areas. Notice here that the blend, for example, needs to be smoothed out, as well as the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the smoothing tool so we can do the mesh of the facets or we can do the edges of our part as well. So I'll go ahead and select that and specify my smoothing factor value and then press OK. Now notice it smooths out the edges for me. So I'll do the same thing for the blended faces here. So these two here. So I'll run the smoothing tool again and then I'll go ahead and specify the mesh. For this example, I'm going to use the rough brush to select inside of my circle. So I'm going to go ahead and select those. Now notice it selects the facets along that blend or inside that circle that I'm highlighting. And then I'll go ahead and press OK on that. So notice it smooths up the blend for me. So with my facet cleaned up now, I'll go ahead and offset that surface and now it will allow me to offset it since I have cleaned up the facet. Before I offset my surface, however, I'm going to do a design change and move the holes since the holes were imported and they need to be cleaned up as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and then fill in these holes. And now I'll go ahead and offset the surface. Okay, with the surface offset now, I can go ahead and hide the original convergent body. And now I can thicken my part or give it a thickness to create my new part, or in this case, a new bracket. So it is a modified part from my facet geometry. So I'll go ahead and select it. Specify it as three millimeters and then go ahead and press OK. So since I filled in those holes, I could replace some new holes in a different location, for example. So I'll go ahead and do that here real quick. So I'll go ahead and run the hole command. And then place my holes through the part. So I'll go ahead and place some points. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and place those points. Again, you could always position these. I'm just going to go ahead and place these on two sides. Again, you can locate these holes as needed. Now notice it's asking for me to select the body, so I'll go ahead and do that. But it still gives us an alert, so I'm going to go ahead and specify it as an along vector here. Specify the vector direction, and then reverse it since it's going through the body here. Okay, and then I will hide the offset surface. So that is how we can clean up our facet body, modify our facet to create a new part to get our design part for later downstream applications. ProLim PLM.